Okay, one application for the determinant is in the solution of the system of equation. All right, so I try to do this elementary example. I want to solve it by hand first. Uh -huh. And after we use the Kramer rule, Kramer rule, Kramer rule. Okay, by hand is super easy. So you add equation one plus equation two. Equation one plus equation two addition. This will be the y is cancelled, so we have two x equal twelve. Out by two. X equals six. Uh -huh. And substitution, for example, in the first equation. Six plus y equal eight. Uh -huh. Y is equal a minus six x two. Y is two. And the solution is they will appear six comma two. Okay? This is super easy, but we can using now Kramer rule. Kramer rule help me to find any solution for the complicated example in this organization. Okay. What is the idea of Kramer rule? The idea is you determine one thing is called a capital D. Capital D is the determinant formed only with the coefficients in front of the number, the variable. One, 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 this one is this coefficient, this one is this coefficient, one here again, and this one. Uh -huh. And we compute by hand. By hand is the negative one. 1 times negative 1 and negative 1, and 1 times 1 is positive 1, but remember we have a negative extra when you go sub, because it's negative 1. And negative 1 and negative 1 together, and negative 2. And this is the answer for negative 2, the capital D, so. Now, Kramer rule, find also dx. Who is dx? It's another determinant. Is formed when you replace the column of the x, x, this column, for the right hand side number. So the a4, um, 1 and negative 1 stay the same. Uh, the thing was, dx by definition is a new determinant, okay, is formed when you replace the column of the x, okay, so this column, this column, no 1 and 1 anymore, no, 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 you replace by the right hand side number, and the rest stay the same, let's compute that, this is negative 8, and this is negative 4, and negative 12, so dx is negative 12, uh -huh. and dy, because we need to find dy, dx and dy both, is exactly the same, we create one new determinant dy, dy, and uh, which you replace the column of the y, okay, this column, the column of the y by the right hand side number. And the rest stays the same, 1, 1. When you multiply, this is 4 minus 8, any other 4. Okay, almost we finish. Now Kramer rule saying, in order to find x value, you divide dx divided by d. If you want to find the y value, you divide dy divided by d. Who is dx? dx is minus 12. Divided by d, who is d? Minus 2. And negative 12 divided by negative 2 is 6. Exactly like that. And dy is negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. Exactly like that. Uh -huh. It is a little bit long, but it is a systematic organization. But the problem is getting system who has a lot of equation, a lot of unknown, is easy in that way.
Now I want to show you how you can do that in GeoGebra. This. this is super easy, but uh, next I want to do one more very complicated. So, so you type in capital D. Capital D is one. One. Uh, one again. To negative one. Just select everything, create a matrix. Mm -hmm. In this matrix, I want to call capital D. Okay. The second it matrix will determine A, 1, 4, and negative 1. Again, same procedure. Create a matrix. Okay, I want to call DX. Rename DX. Okay, finally, 1A, 1, 4. Select, create a matrix. I want to call, rename, DY. Mm -hmm. Ready. I go to CAS. In the CAS, you put X equal. Mm -hmm. Determinant. Determinant of DX. Uh -huh. Division. Division, division, division by determinant of the capital D. Press enter. And the answer is 6. Okay, likewise, y is equal determinant of the matrix dy. Mm -hmm. Outside the parentheses, division, determinant, determinant, capital D, uh -huh. press enter, awesome. and the solution of the system is x equals 6 and y equals 2. Fantastic.